So it's acting like we're not rectifying our flame. So let me shut her down. Okay, so I haven't cleaned the flame sensor yet, but what we'll do is, this is our flame sensor wire, it comes up to the circuit board here, on these carriers. I'm going to pull that off the board, we'll put our meter in line, and we'll see if we're getting any milliamps DC from that flame sensor. So let's check that. So it's just the wire from the flame sensor comes up into your meter, out of your meter to the board to complete the circuit. Go ahead and crank it back on. Sometimes, uh, you know, just the flame sensor is dirty, but before shining it, I thought we'd give it a try just to see what it looks like. We're going to be checking the milliamps DC, which is off this button on the DL429. My meter it wasn't staying on. Magic. The DL429 makes heaters work. Now let's clean up that um, flame sensor. I'll pull it out of there. I'm going to turn it off so we can get down in there. We have to work on these. There's a the door right here. It's just one screw at the bottom front and it, the panel slides out. That panel goes in right there. So you pull that panel out. Now we can crawl back here. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a quarter inch nut driver get that out of there. You'll see. Let me see if I get the camera under there. Uh, yeah, over there. Loosen up that Phillips and then take out that uh, quarter inch nut and you can pull the flame sensor right out of there so we can clean it. Ooh. Look at that. Right by the ocean, all good and rusty. Yeah, there she is out of there. Get some sand cloth and give her the old scrubber ruski, and I'll do some scrubbing up here too. <clears throat> Pull that that last burner out. You can see that leading edge is good and rusty, so I'm just going to shine that up too. And the flame sensor. And I'll just get the sand cloth and clean that all up right there. Stage heat. Let's see if uh, we uh, get second stage to kick on. Yeah, that one burner looks a little shitty, huh? Maybe I got a, I got water in it or something. Maybe I gotta clean her out. That would be second stage. That's first stage. I gotta check my gas pressure in second stage. I look real, real funky. Let's do that again. See that? A little package units that are down discharge. It's real easy to check the heat exchangers. So you just come over, take your panel off. Like me, I just kind of took a bunch of them off. Look for.
thought I'd show you guys that. Okay. With uh, with my meter off. Hold on a second. Fire trucks going. Okay. By. With the flame sensor going through my meter, reading the microamps DC, the unit will run, and when I take it off, it won't. So somewhere I'm not I'm not proving my ground. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna shine up a bunch of stuff in there, shine up all these burners, and then try it again. And uh, I know the flame rod's good because I'm seeing it through the meter. So this should be a interesting, kind of a fun one. Let me get to scrubbing and see what happens here. Okay, let's go for the relight here. Oh, I gotta turn the gas back on. My bad. Um, scrub the inside and the outside of everything with the scrubber. Um, top line's gonna be gas pressure on low stage. Using the fuel piece head, manometer head. And the bottom line will be our micro amps. DL429, baby. This is the stuff you can do with this meter. Sensor wasn't reading. There it goes. I didn't have the lead plugged in right here. So there's my gas pressure, 1.7 low stage, which is what we're looking for. And there's our micro amps on our flame sensor. I'll kick it in the high stage, and then we'll see what the gas pressure does. sensor is not happy you go to second stage and it ramps right up to like 4.4 well, that might have an issue with my gas valve and a soft flame on low stage on high fire she's happy see here's low stage and then the gas pressure is slowly coming up let's see I was yakking in that last clip about changing the flame sensor over. That wasn't the problem either because you heard it starting to buzz again. It's a gas valve. So I'm on low fire right now. Now look at my flame sensor. Almost at five microamps on low fire. If I come over and jump her second stage to high fire, look at there we go. It sounds better, flame looks better. So the old gas valve took a little shaky for the ass whooping. Took me to the woodshed, you might say. There it is. So, yeah, I got. I got my butt kicked big time on this one, but eh, we figured it out. That looks that's so much better. It just, it wasn't putting out the gas, the other gas valve, it was all funky. Let's 